God is good. And all the time. In loving memory of my dearest mother, your absence leaves an inevitable void, yet your presence lingers in the cherished moments we shared. As the firstborn child, firstborn and only daughter, your guidance shaped the very essence of my being. Your wisdom, a beacon in times of uncertainty, taught me resilience, kindness, and the beauty of unconditional love. You are not just my mother, but also my confident guide and an, and an unwearing source of strength. Your love knew no bounds, transcending roles to become the very fabric of our bond. Though you have departed from this earthly ring, your spirit remains entirely interweaved with mine, guiding me with every step I take. Thank you, ma'am, for the countless blessings you bestowed upon me, for the lessons you imparted, and for the love that continues to emulate my path. Your legacy of love will forever echo in the chambers of my heart, a timeless tribute to the extraordinary woman you were. Though you may no longer walk beside me, your spirit lives on in the memories you shared and the lessons you imparted. Your love continues to wrap around me like a warm embrace, comforting me in the times of sorrow and inspiring me to live each day with purpose and passion. Thank you, ma'am, for the gift of love, for the wisdom of your words, and for the beauty of your soul. You will forever hold a special place in my heart, and I will carry your legacy with me for all eternity. With all my love, Dano. Thank you, thank you very much. No, no, thank you for the strength that the Lord has given you. Let me call upon the, the young men. Come here, the three of you, support one another as you give your tributes. Okay, Makai. Uh, Tanzan Dixon, when the day of Bacapale Misho, Teddy will give his uh, remarks. Just kindly support one another there. Uh, praise God. Praise God again. This was so sudden and uh, we never expected it. Is. Uh, I want to say something. You know, The day mom passed, I was in Karen. Then, I was called to go to the hospital. I went. Okay, actually the whole day we were at the hospital waiting to see her because the doctor said we can't see her. We spent the whole day there. I went out to Karen Kidogo. Then I was called. I didn't know it was the last time I would be speaking to her. You know, Dad wasn't around, uh, he was somewhere eating, but I spent almost five hours with Mom, telling her how much she loved her, how she has been a great mother, everything that she did for us, we appreciate it. I told her, take care of Dad and my brothers and uh, Danu. So she couldn't respond at the moment, but she was here. And uh, that came upon me up uh, at around uh, 12. <laughs> tuka, tuka toka, ni, let's go, if there's any emergency, we shall be called. As we were leaving, I told him we haven't said goodbye. So we went back, I gave her a kiss on the head, and uh, that was the last time that we talked. But I am sure the words that he told her. Uh, I believe that was the right thing to do and uh, she's at peace now and although it's hard to accept, let us just take heart, my brothers and dad and Danu, let us take heart to Tashikanamikono and we shall move forward. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is, what, what I'm trying to say, let us cherish our loved ones while they are here right now. Because you don't know the last time you shall see them again. Yeah. So, 
and loving memory of my dearest mother. As I sit here, enveloped in memories of your warmth and love, I am overwhelmed by the immense gratitude I hold for having been blessed with you as my mother. Your departure from this world has left an irrepressible void, yet your absence lingers in every corner of my heart. Guiding me with your gentle spirit and unwavering strength, Though you may no longer walk beside me in the physical realm, your presence is felt in the gentle rustle of the wind and warmth of the sun's rays and the quiet whispers of the night. You have to see and kindness lives on. I am eternally grateful for the precious moments we shared. Your love transcends and the boundaries of time and space, and I find solace in knowing your gentle smile guiding through, guiding us through life's trial and triumphs. Though my heart aches with the pain of your absence, your comfort in the cherished moments you created, and the profound impact you had on my life. You are not only my mother, you are my greatest blessing, and I will carry Rest peacefully, dear mother, knowing that your love continues to illuminate in our lives until we meet again. Know that you are deeply loved and profoundly missed. With all my love, Dixon. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Teddy. Mom, I might come to terms with the reality of your absence. It just feel like yesterday you were basking in the sun sharing stories. You taught me how to be kind, healthy, and joyful, and most importantly, God fearing. You are my best friend, Mom. I always find pleasure sharing with you and talking to you every day after school. You encouraged me to be strong in the value of giving up. You encouraged me to always and give counsel to stay happy. It is not the easiest time now, but I know you are watching us from heaven and seeing all the support you get. We will all adhere to what you always taught us and to be strong for you, Mom. Uh, Raphael, my beloved Mom, I was deeply devastated by your departure as I had no opportunity to say goodbye. How I wish I had a moment to give you my hugs. I loved you and will forever love you as you will forever remain inscribed in my heart. Although it's quite difficult to accept your absence, my heart is filled with gratitude knowing that you are not in pain anymore and resting in a better place with the Lord. I will forever with the sweet moments we cherished. The peace of God be upon your soul and you rest in his presence. Amen. Um, I wanted to thank you all for coming and supporting us this day. And I wanted to say that on earth it's counted as a death, but in heaven it's counted as another angel. Thank you.